met someone who was in addiction recovery. He'd been in recovery for three years already. And I found, I found him totally inspiring. He was a filmmaker. And um, I started volunteering for him. And through him, I met a number of other people. I just noticed that the conversations I had with those people were much more flowing, they were much more natural, they were about the inside out nature of life. People were being impacted by that um, and that that felt very different from the people I was coaching for money. And then I volunteered um, to do some interviews uh, for the recovery walk, which was in Birmingham in September 2013. And it was in the park, just down the road from where I live. And um, I walked into the park and I was just filled with love. And I loved the people. And there were all these people with all sorts of addictions and been involved in the criminal justice system and all sorts of backgrounds. And um, I just felt completely full of love. And I knew I have to work with these people. I, I don't know how. I don't know what that means. I don't know how I'll, I'll be able to pay my bills. And that very day, I met someone who uh, loved what I was talking about. And that's the other thing that happened, is that suddenly, I just started talking about the inside out nature of life as if I'd always talked about it. It was completely natural to me. It didn't feel like a technique. So I, I had nothing on it. I'd go and talk to people about it and if they didn't like it, which many didn't, I, it didn't matter. I ended up meeting someone who worked for a, a prison for a, um, a support program, Phoenix Futures, in a prison, and, um, and he liked it. Um, and, and we just kept talking and we developed a business case and I, I submitted a business case and did some stuff and, and so on and we ended up getting that contract. And that's when I created the business. I didn't actually have a business, <laughs> but I just went out and talked about it. And what I've noticed is that it was like that moment where I had that feeling of love was a volcano and that everything came from there and that since then I've just kept following that. When I started with the prison, um, I had this great idea that I would train people that had been through the program and they would become my facilitators and you know, therefore we would generate work for people. And it, it just didn't work, it was hard. And, it, you know, I kept thinking it's such a good idea though. And I, I was really um, attached to it as an idea. And I had this one stray, random new thought, which was, there's a lot of students on that one thought course who actually aren't going out sharing the principles and are struggling to create their own um, businesses and so on, why don't I ask them? And I did, and some pe loads of people said yes, and, and since then, you know, One Thought students have been coming and working with me. And out of that has been created this work experience. Now I have this model of work experience and I have three streams and I'm partnering with One Thought this year. So they're offering that as a service to their client. When you stop, when I stop and I get out of my own way of what a good idea looks like, the limitations fall away and something amazing happens. And it starts from one tiny little thought that you just follow. And everything is like that for me. It's happening anyway. You, you've just got to stop and let it happen. Because it's, it's happening anyway. As soon as you notice that, 
you see it's happening anyway, that you didn't, you didn't create it. Um, it. It got created through you. I know that that's possible. And sometimes I, I ignore that possibility and go off on my own little merry way. And I have what I think are brilliant ideas or, you know, uh, timelines or these things. Um, but because I have this knowing, it always bounces back to that. And I always catch myself and go, oh, yeah, hang on. What, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> and, then, and then you're back in flow again. And when you're not fighting it, it feels good. And you know when you're fighting it. And it, it's that, and everyone knows that. Whether they know the principles or not, everyone knows that in their own life. There's, there's another prison coming on. Um, we've got interest from big addiction services. Um, lots of really exciting projects, uh, potential funding coming, um, lo loads of stuff, like great, great, and that's all good. But what, what I really love about it is that that's how it looks today. And I have really no idea how it will look tomorrow. It's really fun to be building a business and building partnerships and creating great stuff and helping people and knowing that that's what you're meant to be doing right now and that could change and you'll know when it, when it should change. <laughs> so yeah.